Yesterday at the Open Forum, uh, Luther Reinhardt said that Brandeis is not abandoning the arts. Um, while that may be the university's intention, they may not be intending to abandon the arts, but with this decision, it certainly feels like they are. I feel abandoned, I feel alienated and disillusioned by this whole thing, um, and I think it's valuable for people to express those feelings and to make the administration aware that this decision is affecting people and that people have thoughts and opinions and emotions about this that are valid and that should be considered and should be, you know, valued by the administration before any final decisions are made because this affects people. The, the Rose is important to so many members of this community, not just at Brandeis, but in New England at large, the whole art community. I mean, the New York Times picked up the story, so you know picked up the story, so you know it's important. Um, all right, so enough of what I have to say. Um, there are petitions if you want to sign or write letters. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, I've been talking about this all week. Most of you have probably read or heard what I have to say already. Um, so I would like to open up the mic now um, and I invite everyone present who has any opinion, reaction, emotion, story about why the rose matters to you, what it means to you, your experience with the rose. I would invite all of those people to come up and share it um, because your opinions matter and should be considered before this decision is made final. So thank you all for coming. Um, please express yourselves, make your voices heard. Thank you. trip in which we looked at all the art here and we went into the vaults of the Rose Art and um, I don't know how many students have had the opportunity to do that but it was incredible. You go into the basement and there are just infinite shelves of amazing, famous, historic works of art. Um, I just pulled out a shelf and there was just the most beautiful Rauschenberg I've ever seen and, and I think about this Rauschenberg so much. Um, I, I form a really emotional attachment to these works of art. Um, and if the rose stays open or if it closes, either way, I encourage every student to take advantage of it while it's here. This art is amazing, it's beautiful, and you can really form an attachment to it. Um, and before we get rid of it, whether we do or not, I just want to make sure that we don't forget how valuable it is and how beautiful it is that we have this here at Brandeis. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brian Freeberg. I'm a master's student. I'm a master's student in cultural production here at Brandeis, which is essentially the museum studies department. I'm going to be applying for jobs in probably about a year, a year and a half, and I'm going to have to tell my future employers that I'm graduating from a school with a museum studies degree after they sold their museum. I need to understand how to go forward from this as a student. A lot of this amazing institutional and financial support that's been going on in this community is amazing, but I'm concerned about me and my cohorts as well. Friday night, 6 to 8 p.m. in Shapiro, uh, in the downstairs lounge, we're going to be having a visual protest. We're going to be displaying and reproducing images from the collection here at The Rose, images that will never before, uh, never again be seen together in this combination. It's going to be an aggressive student voice-led protest. We're going to talk about how this is going to affect us, and we're going to see some images and hopefully be able to find ways to move forward as a community. Thank you. opposition to either laying off faculty or closing the roads. Firstly, I don't, don't see... Close 
firstly, I don't see how that is valid, like one or the other. They've never really proved any of that. And secondly, I think the Rose is one of the best teaching tools on campus. I think that it'd be equal to, lo to losing one of the best professors I've ever had. I think the Rose collection is something that I've learned possibly the most from at Brandeis. So to see Rose would be like the best professor here. fine arts in liberal arts and in academics. And while I realize that there are many financial uh, constraints being put on the university right now, my main concern with the roads is that I feel by closing it that uh, the Board of Trustees and Reinhardt are really saying that the arts are not a central part of Brandeis's academic mission. Um, I feel like they're changing the definition of what sort of school Brandeis is, and I, <laughs> I, I don't think it's an option to just let that happen. I think students need to let them know uh, how important the arts are, particularly fine arts, to this institution and to education in general. University. You, the art program here is so important, it's so well respected, so many people come here knowing that they have the rose to use as their inspiration for their own art to learn from. No artist can make art without knowing where their, where their past is, laying in other artists. You have to see it to, to experience it to make it, and with Brenda saying that they're closing the art, I think now the art program really no longer exists. It has been abandoned. It's like completely eliminating an entire major and it's, it's how the economy majors would feel if they close the economy building. It's just we have been abandoned and I feel like Brandeis no longer can call itself a true liberal arts school by closing down one of the most important assets they had. Hi, my name is Stacey Leonard. I'm a freshman, and I intend to be an art history major and a studio arts major. Um, let's just pretend for a second that the Board of Trustees said one day, we're going to close the library. We're just going to close the library, sell all the books, and we're going to turn it, I don't know, into more science building. Right? More science buildings. By, by closing the Rose Art Museum, that's essentially what they're doing. Because the Rose is more than just an art museum. It's a library of visual resources. It's Art is a visual language that you can't really express with words. And for an artist to come in here and listen to what three previous artists have had to say on the walls is so moving that it's it's unexpressible. And so by closing this museum, we're basically silencing the artists who have had their work up in this museum. We're silencing the donations that people have made to this, made to this museum to keep it running. And we are losing a very valuable resource. Thank you. 